The decision that ends George Best's nine-year career with Manchester United came from a two-hour boardroom meeting attended by all the club's directors and manager Frank O'Farrell. Mr O'Farrell later said that the transfer was for continuous breaches of discipline over not just months, but years. Best had not known that the board meeting was today, but would have known if he turned up for training yesterday. His latest disappearance was out of the blue, and the club had no idea where he was. I was in London uh, on Monday, and I, I happened to go down into Tramps, and I saw George Best down there. He seemed very dejected. You know, he was a very confused person. Did he say what he was thinking of doing? I said to him, what time are you coming to Manchester tomorrow? And he said, uh, he said I, I'm, I think I'm thinking of going to New York. So I said, what are you going there for? He said, well, he said, I, know, I can no longer, I feel I can no longer be the player I was. The club tried to beat him to the knockout punch, sacking Best in almost the same breath as O'Farrell. George didn't need telling this time. Do you feel you run away from all the big decisions in your life? Uh, generally, yeah, but I've always said I like travelling, so <laughs> it's always the, the easiest way. But seriously, I, it would have, probably would have been easier to sit down and talk it out with someone, but I always find it difficult to find someone I could sit and, and explain to properly how I felt 